It is past 1 a.m. We are still trying to make it home with these little guys. We should be there in about less than one more hour. <coughs> So today is my first official day home. Uh, we got in at like 1 a.m. I had to get Capri to school this morning and we need to get this trailer in for an installation. So we're having an AC unit put in. We haven't needed it because it's been winter, but now we need it. So I'm going through and cleaning this trailer as my morning project. And then I already cleaned the truck. And then hopefully I can go spend time with Touche and Lefty and let them out of the cage for the first time and get to know them. But just trying to pound through this this morning and I've apparently been on the wrong time zone. So everything has been super off for me today. Um, but we're just starting. I think it's still like 9 a.m. But yeah, anyways, I'm gonna pound through this and then yeah, one of the things that I use is this. I think it's actually meant for like barbecue grills, but I use it for scraping poop off of the grates. So I will show you guys real quick, not that it's that pretty, but here you can see the birds had fun with their toys and then also the poop gets stuck here. Oops, here. So I can scrape it off with this. So I'm not gonna show you guys everything just because I really wanna get done this morning and it'll slow me down, but just wanted you guys to know what I'm up against this morning and I'm sick. These two definitely seem ready to come out. I'm gonna let Touche out first. I'm gonna see what he does. And then I will let out Lefty. See what he does. Or maybe I should let him out. Hey, 
Do you want some water? <laughs> Are you guys buddies? <coughs> Not really? Maybe a little bit? Okay. <coughs> I'm going to move your cages. No falling. Move this way. What do you guys think? Do you like oatmeal? Do you like oatmeal? Not sure? <laughs> Don't really like oatmeal? Doesn't have a lot of flavor, does it? Do you like oatmeal? Check out a tea stand. I have these cool little stands around the house. Do you want to come? No? Okay. We will get some treats. See if you guys like treats. What kind of treats do you like? Oh, a little piece of cashew here. Do you want to come up for a cashew? Not quite? I'm a little nervous. But you want the cashew? Can you take it from my hand? I'm not really taking it. You're testing my nail polish. Do you not like cashews? What are you doing? Just going for my nail polish. There we go. Do you like them? Do you like cashews? <laughs> don't know how I'm gonna get this little thing back down. Cause I don't want him to fall because he has this horrible clip. So I don't wanna scare him with my hand and have him fall. Will you come? Good job. Want to hold that? I'm gonna set you down. I'm gonna set you down. Whoa, good job. 
They're so nice. Oh, you don't like those? Can you find something you do like? Lefty likes them. Seats. You just want to be up on my shoulder. It's okay, but I don't want you on my shoulder necessarily. But you were super good. Do you want any of this? Try. Do you like sunflower seeds? <laughs> no. Nope. Do you want to come stay on the stand? Nope. Those are out of here. You're so close. You coming over? You're just obsessed with my nail polish. Okay, I'm gonna wipe up this tiny little poo. You guys, don't get scared. There we go. <coughs> what is that? I apologize for the way my house looks. It's still a studio for filming. So I'm going to 
gonna see, I'm gonna go get a spray bottle and see if they would be receptive to a bath. They both really need it. You guys like baths? Hear it? Ready? You feel it? Little bit? Ooh! Is that nice? Ooh! One of the best ways I've found to introduce a bird to bathing is to simply spray the spray bottle upwards into the air so that it takes a while between when the bird hears the sound of the spray bottle and when it actually feels the water trickle down on it. Now, if your bird is terrified of bathing, you can always click and reward and give a treat every time it either sees the spray bottle, hears it, or feels that trickle of water. I have another series on an Alexandrian parakeet named Rasta where I actually train him to enjoy bathing and eventually I don't have to use treats because bathing becomes self-reinforcing. What I don't realize here is that Touche is really not it's liking so it because cool. Lefty is. Whoa! Touche, you can fly! Who knew? Did you guys see that flight? Oh, that was so cool. Okay, I'm gonna go get a spray bottle. Good job, Lefty. Let's give Lefty a treat for being so good about the bath. Do you want a treat? <coughs> I know you're not liking the bath, huh? You don't have to have one. Lefty looked worse than you anyway. So before receiving Touche or Lefty, the information that I was given was photos of Touche with this butchered wing clip. And so I assumed that he couldn't actually fly at all. And Lefty, for whatever reason, I assumed could fly. But it actually turns out to be the exact opposite as you guys will find out in this journey as I found out. So I continue to give Lefty his bath and reward him with treats. And while he's eating the treats, I try to make sure that he's still bathing because his feathers look really... Um, bland to me and he just looks kind of roughed up so I just want to make him look a little bit better with frequent bathing and I'm hoping to make it such a great experience up front that he wants to continue to do it on all the days that I have him. All right well you look really good with that bath. That was good enough. You were so good. You did such a good job. Have you had a bath before? You seem like you like baths. Slip and fall. Although, who knew you could fly, little guy? So impressed. <laughs> Doesn't seem like it, huh? Let me see you for a treat. Could you come here? <laughs> have an idea. Should we train Lefty? Remember this? I didn't touch it, but I tapped his beak with it. I'm not using whoop, I'm not using the clicker even though I got it out because um, at our master class it actually scared Touche. So I don't want to scare him. So I'm kind of training two birds at once here, even though it may look like I'm only training one. So while I'm asking Lefty to do some touch training, Touche already did touch training at our, successfully at our workshop and master class. And so 
although Lefty needs to work on touch training, Touche needs to work on some de desensitization. So he's scared of the sound of the clicker. So this next time when Lefty actually chooses to touch the end of the stick, I use the clicker because I recognize that Touche knows what I'm asking and what is the right behavior while he's just observing, but also he's more comfortable up on my shoulder so I figure he'll feel safe enough to not react. Good. Yeah, that's kind of what it's like, huh? You didn't get scared that time. Good job. Good. You kind of startled him that time, didn't it? Can we do a last one or no? You all done? Good job. There you go. All done. All right, I think I'm just gonna... <coughs> <coughs> I'm just gonna hang out with these guys for a little bit. Sorry, you guys, I'm pretty sick. I am going to... Um, mm, I'm gonna do some laundry now. Probably leave Touche on my shoulder. <clears throat> shoulder while I do it and just do some stuff that I need to around the house. My goal is to try to get these guys onto these, <coughs> onto these stands to hang out that has food and water on there for them if they want, but they don't really seem very hungry at all or interested in stands right now. So I'm just gonna do my normal stuff around them and see how they do with it. Just slowly desensitize them to these things and yeah. And let Lefty dry. <laughs> Obviously you got to see my day one with both Lefty and Touche. Now if you're following me here on YouTube, you are going to see the rest of... Where'd you go? You're going to see Lefty's journey. That was kind of... Oh, there you are. Are you being nice and preening? Are you being nice? Uh, so the... <laughs> Those of you here on... on YouTube will be following Lefty's journey. Um, and those of you over on my Patreon are going to be following Touche's journey. There he is. Um, because I had 20 people over on my Patreon make it possible for me to take on Touche at the same time as Lefty. So thank you guys so much. I'm so excited for both of these journeys. Um, obviously I took both of these guys out at the same time, so to speak, um, on the first day and worked with them both and I felt like in the moment that that was just the right thing to do. So I couldn't really separate the footage into Lefty or Touche's uh, footage. 
but from here on out they will be separated as far as how I show the footage so they'll still be hanging out <laughs> in real life but as far as how I produce my footage moving forward I'll be documenting lefties separately from touches as much as possible um, I just want to say a big thank you over to all of my tiers on Patreon because literally every single one of them made it possible so that I could take on Lefty. And one of the things that I heard consistently from you guys about Quaker parrots is that they're very cage territorial. So what I plan to try is to keep these two cageless. I know it sounds crazy uh, and just work with the stands around my house. now. Going into this, I thought that Lefty was flighted and that this guy was clipped and couldn't fly and that this guy could fly and obviously <laughs> that was not what I discovered. This guy is a little torpedo. I, we have been calling Touche, Touche the torpedo um, because he flies like one and Lefty is not really flying much at all. So he pretty much just coasts straight down. So I'm really, really excited to share their journeys with you. Thank you again to all of my patrons over on Patreon. If you're interested in following Touche's journey, I will leave a link in the description on how you can become a patron and follow him over there. And I think I have a burrower in my hair. Is there a burrower in my hair? Yeah, I hear a little, I hear a little guy. <laughs> All right, we'll see you guys over on Patreon or continuing here with Lefty's Journey on the YouTube channel. You guys wanna see how Touche flies? It's amazing. Let's show them how you fly. Touche the torpedo. Show them how you fly. Wow. And I made a princess almost. Oh, thanks, Capri. This looks awesome. This is for your hair. Okay. Thank you. Why'd you make me a bath anyway? Because you're sick. Oh, so like it would make me feel better? I'm going to put you. these with the rest. All right. And I added some oil in. And <coughs> those little things in there. Really? Not too many. Oh, thanks, Bug. You what kind that? of oil did you add? And I stirred it. I added that orange one. Oh, frankincense? Thanks. That's really good. I thought it might help your cough. Yeah, I hope it helps my cough. I'm going to take it right now. Thanks, Buggy. And 